You are our scientific vacuum oven. Right now I have it under vacuum. I wanted to show it's been under vacuum since yesterday. There is no vacuum line attached to the back. But here's your vacuum gauge here. And you can see we're at about 29 inches of mercury. So your main vacuum to turn vacuum on when you would have it connected uh, is here. And then your vent valve is here, which connects to this pipe. So you could have something going in here if you wanted to introduce something too. So now that you've seen it's under vacuum, I'm going to open up the vacuum and open up the vent. And you can hear it as the chamber fills. So that, be, that being done, main power for the unit is here. It's a standard 110. Turn it on to get a pilot light. And here's your heat indicator. So your heat is adjustable through here. Now this is not labeled in degrees. Um, so I've gone through each stage and I'll include a list of the temperatures that I've gotten with my meter here. But you want to do this independently in your own lab. But uh, a setting of 5 will give you approximately 100 degrees, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to set it for 5, and as you can see, the heat has come on. And before we go too much further, I'm going to open up the oven just so you can see the interior. Just latches like that. And we're going to let this heat up, and then I'm going to have an external meter hooked up here so you can see the, the temperature. Okay, so I've set the temperature almost to max. And as you can see uh, on my temperature meter, we're at uh, 221 degrees. And it wasn't quite on max, so it'll, it'll easily do to 225. Uh, I've had it up, uh, up to there already.